All right, we're over halfway done on the first layer. It's been about an hour and five, hour, 10 minutes. Also, this first layer is looking much better than that first layer test that I posted earlier. Not exactly sure why. I don't know if it's a filament difference or if the bed leveled better this time. I don't know. It looks great. There's good adhesion. So maybe another 45 minutes, this layer should be done. And then I'll slow it down for the next. Okay, layer one just finished. Took an hour and 43 minutes. We're on layer two and we're already starting to print the pattern that would have been something like layer 20 had I not split the full size print. I'll go back and print the bottom layer at a 0.24 millimeter layer height, which will only take four or five hours. Um, maybe double that if I have to slow the print down. So yeah, looking good so far. We'll see if I need a brim or not. But as of now, it's looking pretty good. Check back in the morning. 10 hours, 45 minutes in, and it swapped to white. You can see here, how the black doesn't look super great in some areas, but it might be covered with white, we'll see. About 27 hours to go. 50 minutes later, still on that first white layer. All right, 21 hours, 50 minutes in, and we are on layer eight of 21 with 16 hours remaining. And it's looking okay. I'm not sure what is going on here or here. So we'll see how it goes. We're at 23 hours, 20 minutes of print time. Got 14 hours, 19 minutes to go. We're on layer nine of 21. It looks good from a distance. It's just when you get looking in close, it doesn't look quite as good but I'm also overly critical. So yeah, we'll check back in a little later and then tomorrow morning. And by the time I get home from work tomorrow, it will be complete. 26 hours in with 12 hours, 30 minutes to go. I decided to slow it down to quiet mode because the print was not looking good in some areas. You can kind of see this crisscross checkerboard pattern going on. that that's uh, not going to correct itself by the time we get up to the top layers, but we'll see. This is a test. It's really big and a lengthy test, but it is a test. We will check back in the morning. Going to go to bed. We'll be back in, um, I don't know, eight hours or so. 35 and a half hours in. Four hours, 30 minutes remaining, level 13 of 21. 39 hours, 15 minutes in, one hour, seven minutes remaining, and I am not super impressed, but we'll look into that once it's finished. From a distance, it doesn't look too bad. However, as I get in closer, you can see these little uh, crater marks, which is the nozzle melting plastic around it. I think what, what could help fix that is lowering the nozzle, nozzle temperature. I'm also going to print this same print at 0 0.08 millimeter layer height instead of 0 0.04. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look as good as I would like. So yeah, stay tuned and, uh, and I'll try again. Here, let's pull this thing off before I go.
pretty cool. We'll keep working on it. The 0 0.08 print has just started looking at about 18 hours, 41 minutes, and 11 layers. Check back in the morning. Hopefully it looks better than the 0 0.04 millimeter layer height. Eight hours in. 19 hours in with 12 minutes to go. And this is looking so much better than the 0 0.04 millimeter layer height. So much better. Pretty stoked about that. This printer just might work for what I want it to do. All right, we'll do a comparison next. Here it is. It is complete. It took about 19 hours. <clears throat> Looks pretty dang good if you ask me. Let's peel it off and get it next to the other for a comparison. Here they are side by side, 0 0.04 millimeter on the left, 0 0.08 on the right. We'll go ahead and get some close-ups here to compare. So you can see all these little craters from where the nozzle uh, went down into the print and melted the filament like right here here's a good example <clears throat> and it just does not look very good um, his face his eye does not look as good as it should um, there's some some dark burnt filament on the flower there but that's not the layer height issue and then just in general, it's a lot lighter than the one on the right. So if we look at uh, his arm, for example, no pock marks or craters or whatever you want to call those. And everything just generally looks better. You do lose detail when you go from 0 0.08, or I'm sorry, when you go from 0.04 up to 0 0.08 however uh, I think the the shading on the one on the right looks just fine there are some images I've printed where the going from 0 0.04 up to 0 0.08 um, makes the image look much worse so anyways looks really good in my opinion <clears throat> really good for a large bed printer and we'll move on to the next one. See how they look. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.